All right, folks, and welcome to the channel. And in today's video, we're looking at the Veilton Dapper Mini Effect Strip. So it's time for a multi effect strip review. This is the uh, the Veilton Dapper Mini. Now it's got three slash four effects on it. It's got drive, chorus and delay, tap tempo delay, which is fantastic. But it's got a little switch there. I'll zoom that in. So when it's down, it's on distortion. When it's up, it's on overdrive. So you've got overdrive and distortion, chorus and delay. So we'll uh, plug it in, give it a bash, See what it sounds like. Right, so we're all plugged in. So taking a path is the solar A2.6. That's going straight into the Veilton Dapper Mini. And that's going straight into the front of the DV Mark 50. So without the pedal on. So I'm on the clean channel at the minute. Start off with, we'll actually go for some chorus. Yeah, I think that's a pretty nice sounding chorus. Let's just bob a little delay on some cleans. That's a little bit of the delay. We'll come back to that in a second. So while we've got it on the clean channel, what I do like about this, it's not just an overdrive, it's a distortion as well. So there's a little switch at the side here. So when it's up, it's on overdrive. And when it's down, it's on distortion. So while I've got it on the clean channel, I've sort of got it in a distortion-ish. I've got it in a distortion, on the distortion mode. And uh, the settings I've got, Level on about three quarters, gain, that's gain about 10, 11 o'clock, and then the tongue's about one, two o'clock ish. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's with the game there. Now, you can whack the game up full. It's, there is quite a bit of game, but I wouldn't say it's overly extreme. But yeah, it does get a bit much at full. But yeah, let's uh, go through the games. <laughs> I don't know if it'll come across on the recording, but in the room, it is. It's not over the top gate. Well, it, it's not like oh, it's not extreme gain like you can get with some pedals. It's still quite manageable, but yeah, it's still perhaps just a little bit over the top. But yeah, but it's good for all sort of if you will that sort of early death metal, maybe a bit cheery type tone. It's still not over the top. I'll just dial that back down a touch. This is what the chorus sounds like with it on the distortion. <laughs> I think that sounds pretty good together. Um, some delay, and it is a tap tempo delay. <laughs> and you can get really silly on this delay. So, uh, ooh, let's wrap the time up. And that's what I do like about this. As soon as you switch the delay off, it cuts the delay off straight away. So I think that's pretty good as well. I might have a little bit more of a mess about with that in a second so switch all that off flick that onto the overdrive channel and put that in more sort of a overdrivey type setting i flick that over onto the gain channel onto the high gain channel should i say so this is what it sounds like without the pedal on and let's say i've got that now I've flicked it over onto the overdrive and I've sort of got it in your sort of typical overdrive setting. Yeah, I think that, that's a pretty decent overdrive. It sort of brings this little amp alive. So we'll do the same again. We'll uh, bang the chorus on as well.
get off. So yeah, still sounds good with that chorus on. Uh, we'll add a bit more delay on as well. delay is tap tempo as well so There you go, folks. That's the veil. That was the Veilton Dapper Mini Effect Strip. What do I think about this thing? Is it the greatest effect strip? No. But is it bad? No, I think it's quite good. I think the overdrive and the distortion are pretty good. The chorus is is really good. I do like the chorus. I don't think it's the best delay in the world. I, I think there is better delays, but it'll get you by. If, you, if you're just looking for a simple little three, well, three slash four pedal effect. So if, if you go, turn up to a gig and they say, oh, you can use our backline and they've just got basic clean amps, you've got the option of using the distortion or if it's high gain amp, you can just flick it across and use the overdrive, which is cool so yeah i think there's better options but yeah and it perhaps would have been nice to say have an effects loop in there or so you could have it into the effects loop for delays and things like that but uh, oh wonderful and i do like the fact that it's got a um, headphone out socket and apparently that's got uh, an emulated cab in there as well i've not tried it out so i can't tell you about that. <laughs> hey, uh, I got this second hand, but I think brand new. I think the retail around about seventy, seventy-five pound in the UK. It's good, solid metal casing, and those well, foot switches seem pretty sturdy as well. But overall, I don't think it's a bad option. Are there better options out there? Yeah, but they are a lot more money. But if you're just after a, a good, good cheap budget option out there then i think this is well worth a look at but yeah let me know what you you guys think out there down in those comments that's all for this video don't forget to check the merch store out you can get channel merch you can get evil wizard production merch don't forget to like subscribe share dislike it if you want it's all engagement and uh, that's all for this video I will catch you in the next one. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. You can follow me on social media and you can get my music online. And if you want to support the channel, there's uh, Buy Me A Coffee and PayPal links. They're all down in the description. 
click up here to subscribe and click the link down there for videos that you may not have seen. Keep it loud and keep it heavy.